Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss 2016 question paper. Okay, 2016 question paper which has been asked for 14 marks. The following are the balance sheet of Akash and Vikas Limited as on 31st March 2015. Now they have given two balance sheets of uh, two balance sheets that is Akash and as well as Vikas. Now we look into the balance sheet. Liabilities Akash Limited, Vikas Limited. Equity share capital of rupees 10 each. <coughs> okay. So they are not given number of shares. Then how to calculate number of shares? It's simple. So 10 lakh divided by 10 is 1 lakh. And, and, and the Vikas Limited, it is 6 lakh. 6 lakh divided by 10 is uh, 60,000. 14% okay. free share capital of rupees 100 each. So 4 lakh 40,000 divided by 100. And 3 lakh 40,000 divided by 100. If you do, you will get 4,400 and 3,400. Why we are doing this one? Because they are not given number of equity shares and number of reference shares. Okay. The next one we have general reserve, one lakh and fifty thousand. Export profit reserve we have sixty thousand, forty thousand. Investment allowance allowance reserve we have nil twenty thousand. P and L account one lakh fifty, two lakh, and thirteen percent debenture we have one lakh seventy thousand. Okay, here also they have given hundred rupees. So one lakh divided by hundred you will get thousand, and the seventy thousand divided by hundred equal to you will get uh, seven hundred. If you want number of differentials and current liabilities, we have totally one lakh thirty thousand and one lakh. Totally, if you had, we will get nineteen lakh eighty thousand and thirteen lakh twenty thousand. And you should remember, look at here, all these are all what is it? Reserves and surplus. Okay, general reserve, export profit reserve, investment allowance reserve, and P and L account. Next one we have assets. <coughs> so assets, land and building five lakh three lakh ten thousand, land and machinery uh, six lakh fifty, three lakh forty. Furniture and fitting 1 lakh 15,000, 70,000. Investment 2 lakh 50, 1 lakh 90,000. Stock 1 lakh 80,000, 2 lakh 6,000. Debtors 1 lakh 45,000, 1 lakh 4,000. And cash and bank 1 lakh 40 and 1 lakh. Totally we have 19 lakh 80,000 and 13 lakh 20,000. Okay. Now this is very, very important. See, they have given balance sheet of two companies. One is Akash, other one is uh, Vikas. Okay. Now uh, we look at the uh, theory part. Akash Limited takes over Vikas Limited. So please keep it in mind. Now here Akash is a transferee or purchasing company. Whereas Vikas Limited is a transferer or vendor company. And the company is taken over, Vikas company is taken over on 1-4-2015. Akash Limited discharged the purchase, purchase consideration as below. And Akash Limited is making this purchase consideration. We'll go one by one. <coughs> Issued 70,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each. They are showing 70,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each at par value to the equity shareholders of Vikas Limited. Now, look at here Vikas Limited. Okay, this is Vikas Limited, right? This is Vikas Limited. So, how much share capital we have? Totally, we have equity share capital 6 lakh. We have for this 6 lakh equity shareholders, they are issuing that is Akash Limited is issuing 70,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each. So, 70,000 into 10 is 7 lakh. Okay. And second point issued 15% preference shares of rupees under each. They are issuing 15% preference shares of rupees under each to discharge the preference shareholders of Vikas Limited at 10% premium. Now look at here. See this information is related to equity shareholders. And this information is related to <coughs> preference shareholders. Okay. For the preference shareholders, they are issuing preference shares of rupees under each at a premium of 10. Now, look at the question now. <coughs> See, Vika, this is Vikas Limited, right? This is Vikas Limited. So, total uh, number of preference shares we don't know, but they have given 3,40,000. Preference share capital is how much? 3,40,000. Now, for 3,40,000, they have not given number of shares. Then, how to calculate number of shares? Simple. What you are supposed to do? Just you have to take out, uh, what is it? <coughs> okay. What you are supposed to do? Look at here. Uh, three lakh forty thousand. Okay, divided by the face value of one share is how much? Hundred. So three lakh forty thousand into hundred, you will get uh, three thousand four hundred. Okay, three thousand four hundred number of reference shares we have in Vikas Limited, and they are issuing three thousand four hundred reference shares at a rupees hundred at a premium of ten percent. Hundred plus ten percent is how much? Hundred plus ten percent is it will be one ten. Okay.
So it will be one day. Take plus so it will be one ten. Okay, it's showing in percentage, so it will be one ten. So if you multiply, if you multiply, one time. So three thousand four hundred into one ten. If you do, then you will get uh, how much? Uh, three lakh seventy four thousand for the preference shareholders. Okay. And next, what they have given? This is for preference shareholders. Now the debentures of Vikas Limited will be converted into equal number of debentures of. Uh, look at here. We have debentures, correct? No, because limited is because limited. They are not given number of debentures. So what you are supposed to do? Seventy thousand divided by hundred. If you do, we will get seven hundred. Seventy thousand. Seventy thousand divided by hundred. If you do, we will get seven hundred debentures. See here, the debenture of Akash Limited will be converted into <coughs> equivalent number of debentures of Akash Limited. So they will give the same number of Given seven hundred debentures of rupees hundred each in the Akash Limited, the statutory reserve of Vikas Limited, that is export profit reserve and investment allowance reserve, are to be maintained for two three more years. So these are all statutory reserves which you have to maintain. You are required to show general entries and balance sheet in the books of Akash Limited. See, you have to required to show general entries and balance sheet in the books of Akash Limited. Now my question is: Akash Limited is it a vendor company or transferred company or purchasing company? So here, Akash Limited is a purchasing company or transferring company. So you have to record general entries in the books of purchasing company. So my question is: Is it closing entries or incorporation entries? Please keep it in mind. Closing entries will be recorded in the books of vendor company, whereas opening entries are recorded in the books of Transferring company. Now, Akash is a transferring company or purchasing company. So they are asking us to pass general entry in the books of Akash. That means you need to pass incorporation entries. Okay, you need to pass incorporation entries, and you need to prepare balance sheet of Akash Limited. Assuming that, <coughs> sorry, assuming that amalgamation is in the nature of merger. Look at here. They have only given uh, the method of uh, amalgamation. That is. You should prepare accounts as, as assuming that it is amalgamation is in the nature of merger. So I have told you, see uh, the we under description I have given the link of theory part merger and acquisition. Okay, it will be in the description if you want. You can just go to that uh, description. Now, see here what they have done. Uh, they have given amalgamation in the nature of merger. First, please keep it in mind. So it comes to merger, all assets and liabilities will be taken over, and um, all book value only, no market value. Look at here, we don't have any market value. Okay, here you don't have to identify whether it is purchase or merger because they have only given. So here if all assets, all assets and liabilities will be taken at book value, and uh, purchase consideration discharge only through issue of uh, through discharge of shares. Look at here by share they have given, and uh, the business will be carried on, and <clears throat> what is it? You have to take book value and uh, all assets and liabilities are taken over. There are five conditions, and the exit uh, the company will be carried on. So all the five conditions satisfied, so it is merger. And please keep in mind that we are done with identification of uh, method of amalgamation. It is merge, uh, amalgamation is in the nature of merger. The second one is you need to calculate PC. Okay, for calculating PC, okay. Now there are three methods: lump sum method, net asset method, net payment method. Okay, for lump sum method, they will give you uh, purchase consideration in the question itself. They are not given, so it is not a lump sum method. And net asset method is like they'll give you assets. Okay. Now before that we have net payment method. See, look at here. They have given the payment details. Akash Limited discharge the purchase consideration as below. They have given for equity shareholders they are issuing seventy thousand equity shares rupees ten each, and for preference shareholders they are discharging the same number of preference shares of rupees and each at a premium of ten percent. So they have given mode of payment. That to full information they have given. Look at here, full information they have given. Full payment mode information they have given. 
so it is net payment method when they don't give purchase lump sum amount when they don't give lump sum amount and when they don't give you the full mode of payment information then it will be net asset method here lump sum amount is not given is not a lump sum but payment method is given and that to full information is given when they give partial information then it will be net asset method but look at here two equations they are issuing 70000 equations of rupees 10 each for reference shareholders they are issuing a uh, same number of references at a premium of 10% so they have given full information it is not a net asset method it is net payment method okay and uh, <coughs> please keep it in mind when you are preparing uh, accounts considering assuming that amalgamation the nature of merger see you have to take all assets except please keep in mind you have to take all assets except uh fit, uh reserved fictitious asset and you have to take all liabilities all liabilities except only share capital except only equity share capital and preference share capital you have to take even please this is very very important note you should remember when it comes to merger amalgamation the nature of merger you have to take all assets except fictitious asset we don't have any fictitious asset what do you mean fictitious asset? debit payable account discount on issue of share discount on issue of debenture uh, underwriting commission advertising assessment uh, advertising suspense account here we don't have any such items so no fictitious asset when you go to liability side you have to take all liabilities except two that is equity share capital and preference share capital okay except two items you have to take general reserve when you are preparing realization account and when you are passing incorporation entries all items should be taken except share capital and preference share capital and next one what they have done look at here and and uh, please keep it in mind when you are calculating pc any amount paid to debentures should not be taken for calculation of a pc okay under calculation of pc any amount paid to debentures should not be taken for calculation of pc because we will pass separate general entry so when it comes to pc please keep it in mind amount paid to equity shareholders and amount paid to preference shareholders only should be taken you should not take amount paid to debentures because we are going to pass separate general entry okay next so you have to take all assets all liabilities except share capital and uh, share capital okay and here you have to take all assets except uh, fictitious asset the realization account and you have to prepare all the ledger accounts okay now <clears throat> first one we are we don't have to prepare ledger account we don't have to pass closing general entries directly we can go for uh, uh answers we'll we'll go first one calculation of pc okay in the books of akash limited okay so i already told you this net payment method so two preference shareholders look at here the total preference share capital is a uh, 3 lakh 40000 and they are paying 10% premium so 3 lakh 40000 plus 10% so it will be 3 lakh 74000 and two equity shareholders they are issuing 70000 equity shares of rupees 10 each 70000 into 10 will be 7 lakh so totally see amount and one more thing debenture of vikas limited will be converted into this for this one you should not take uh, for calculation of pc we will pass separate then link so here it will be the 3 lakh 40 plus 7 lakh it will be totally 10 lakh 74000 that is purchase constitute and please keep it in mind when you are calculating pc under net payment method you don't have to discharge pc because The discharge the PC is nothing but mode of payment. Already we have done, so no need to discharge the PC. We are done with calculation of PC and discharge the PC. Now we have to go for incorporation entries. I have already told you the incorporation entries. We will be having standard general entries. Okay. So first one is what business purchase account data. Look at here the PC amount is how much? Ten lakh forty thousand. We have business purchase account data. Ten lakh seventy four thousand. Two. Liquidators of Vikas. See, Vikas company will be closed. So, liquidators of Vikas Limited, ah, uh, ten lakh seventy four thousand, being purchase consideration due. Being purchase consideration due. And second one is what? All assets. Okay, all assets. See, when it comes to merger, all assets will be taken over except fictitious assets. Correct now. You have to take all assets, whatever they have given here of Vikas Limited, at book value. At book value in merchant sense, book value only. Okay. Now, three lakh ten, three lakh forty, seventy, one lakh ninety, two lakh six thousand. Look at here. The same assets you have to take. Planted, which are the assets taken over and liabilities taken over. 
plant uh, plant fee 3,40, land and building 3,10, furniture 70, investment 1,90, debtors 1,4, uh, stock 2,6000, cash and bank 1,00. And please remember, after writing all assets, let it be merger and let it be purchase. You have to leave. You have to leave one line space. Always, please leave one line space because we will discuss later what is that. Okay. After writing assets, you have to leave one line space. After writing all the assets, please leave one line space. And I'll tell you the difference now. See, when it comes to uh, what is that merger, you have to take all assets except a fictitious asset. And you have to take all liabilities except what is it? This uh, these two liabilities. You have to take all assets here, but here when it comes to amalgamation in the nature of merger. You have to take all liabilities except share uh, preference share capital and equity share. Even you have to take general reserve, export profit reserve, investment allowances, profit and investment, debenture, and current liabilities. But when it comes to purchase method, please keep in mind this, this is the main difference. See, land and all assets you need to take except fictitious assets. Okay, all assets you need to take except each asset. But when it comes to liabilities, see you have to take only liabilities, only liabilities, and if statutory reserves, like there are two statutory reserves here, export profit reserve and investment allowance reserve. If these need to be maintained for one more year or two more years, then only you have to take these two reserves, the two statutory reserves. They don't specify anything in the question then you have to take only two liabilities under purchase method okay this is very very important difference okay so when it comes to merger all assets except each asset and all liabilities except uh, equity share capital and preferential capital but when it comes to purchase method you have to take all assets except each asset the assets will be same whereas under liabilities you have to take only current liabilities you have to take only current liabilities and if any look at it they have given here if any statutory reserve is to be maintained then you have to take these two statutory reserves under uh, purchase method but you should not take a general reserve you should not take pay and account if the question is silent you should not take even export profit and investment allowances also under purchase method whereas here this method is what is it merger so you have to take all reserves and also liabilities. Now, uh, we have recorded assets. I've told you after leaving one line space. Uh, so you have to leave one line space. And please remember, under merger method, okay, assets, the difference between assets and liabilities will be called as only general reserve. Only general reserve. I've told you already while uh, explaining the incorporation entries, it comes to mar pur purchase method. The difference can be called as goodwill or capital reserve. But when it comes to merger method, the difference can be called as general reserve. If you're getting profit, general reserve. If you're getting loss, also general reserve. So what we will do, general reserve, we will take it later because the balance will be called as always general reserve. So apart from general reserve, we'll take all reserves. That is export profit reserve, investment allowance reserve, p and account, and 13% debenture, and the current liabilities of only Vikas Limited because the vendor company you have to take. Okay? Look at here. Under liabilities. So general reserve will consider later. We have taken debenture 70,000 book value, current liability book value 1 lakh, export profit reserve 40,000, investment allowance reserve 20,000, PNL account 1 lakh, and by business purchase account that which is uh, debited in the first general entry will be created here. Okay. Now what you have to do, you have to look at the side, except this amount, except see this amount will come later. Okay. Now you have to total whether credit column is more or debit column is more. So here the credit column will be more by how much amount? 84,000. The difference will be called as general reserve account. And when liabilities are liabilities are more than the asset, it is called as general reserve that to capital loss. When assets are more, it will be called as general reserve capital profit. When it comes to merger, if you're getting profit or loss, it will be general reserve only, like capital loss and capital profit. But when it comes to purchase method, if liabilities are more, look at it, if the liabilities are more, then it will be, instead of general reserve, it will be called as goodwill. Suppose if assets are more and liabilities are less, then the different amount will be called as here, capital reserve. Capital reserve. Got it? The main difference. 
now why we are not taken uh, general reserve because the difference will be always it will be general reserve the difference will be always general reserve so 84000 we are getting loss so that is uh, what is it loss capital loss being assets and liabilities taken over that is what i was telling you please keep in mind under merger all assets will be taken over except each asset and all liabilities will be taken over except share capital where it when it comes to what is it purchase method all assets except each asset and all, uh, only liabilities and if there is any uh, statutory reserve to be maintained then you have to take these two reserves otherwise you should not take only i hope the concept is clear okay all assets and liabilities taken over the next one is a payment entry liquidation of vikas limited the total pc is to be paid is 174000 so it will be paid in two ways on 174 how it will be paid discharge of pc look at pc 174 by issue of uh, free French share and 7 lakh by equity share that is what you have to discharge the pc two equity share capital account 70000 to 10 7 lakh by 15 percent free French share 374000 done and i was telling to you whenever they give you the amount paid to debenture holders are uh, being debentures discharge you should not take for calculation of pc because we will pass separate entry under uh, incorporation entries that is what we have, we have to do now 13 percent debentures account that is because limited data 70000 and these de uh, debentures will be discharged by akash limited to 13 percent debentures account akash limited 70000 being discharge of debenture so this is these four are the incorporation entries okay which you have to remember the next one and see for theory part i have, I have given the link in the description part you can just go through the theory part okay? the next one we need to prepare balance sheet amalgamated balance sheet okay as on 31st march 2015 now should be careful here while preparing amalgamation okay amalgamated balance sheet you should be very very careful here see you have to merge both akash and as well as vikas you have to merge uh, you have to merge both akash and as well as vikas company balance sheet See, look at here, Akash Limited equity share capital is how much? 10 lakh. But whereas here we have 6 lakh, you should not take old one. You have to look for new one. What is the new one issued? The new one equity share capital is how much? 7 lakh. The new one is how much? 7 lakh. So 10 plus 7 is how much? 10 plus 7 is 17 lakh. So already I have given the uh, vertical balance sheet format. Okay. Uh, so under shareholders fund, equity share capital. 10 lakh plus 7 lakh it will be 17 lakh okay and the next one we have is see we, we have here 14 percent preferential capital 14 percent preferential capital is 4 lakh 40 thousand whereas after that look at here here also we had in because limited we are 14 percent preferential but what they are doing they are issuing 15 percent preferential look at here issued 15 percent preference shares of rupees and it is to discharge the preference shares of vikas limited earlier it was 14 percent now it is 15 percent so what you have to do you have to show it separately 14 percent preference share capital 4 lakh 40 thousand and 15 percent preference share capital 3 lakh 74 because 10 percent premium 3 lakh 74 thousand look at balance sheet so 15 percent preference share capital 3 lakh 74 thousand and the 14 percent capital 4 lakh 40 thousand now we will go to reserve and surplus okay under reserve and surplus should be careful here see in here we have got loss loss of how much general reserve 84000 okay now see general reserve totally we have 1 lakh in akash limited whereas we have 50000 but we have got loss of how much 84 you should not take this one you have to take new one the new one is how much 84000 loss so 1 lakh minus 84 loss means minus correct now so 1 lakh minus 84 it will be 16000 one six sixteen thousand. Yeah, that is general reserve cap. Uh, so that will be general reserve. Next. Next export profit reserve. We don't have any adjustment. So sixty plus forty one lakh. Investment allowance reserve. We don't have any adjustment. So nil plus twenty twenty. Profit and loss account. We don't have any adjustment. So 1 lakh 50 plus 1 lakh 2 lakh 50 and 13 percent debentures 1 lakh plus 70 same 1 lakh 70 and current liabilities 1 lakh 30 plus 1 lakh same we don't have any extra adjustment but here you have to identify this is non-current 
and this will be current. Now look at the answer now, you will get the same answer. Look at here. Export profit is uh, selling to 60 plus 40, uh, 1 lakh. A import uh, investment allowance is uh, nil plus uh, 20, uh, 20. Profit and loss account, 1 lakh plus 1 lakh 50, it will be 2 lakh 50. And non current liabilities, I've told you 1 lakh plus 70,000, 1 lakh 70,000. And current liabilities, how much? Uh, 1 lakh plus, so 1 lakh plus 1 lakh 30, it will be 2 lakh 30. Now, if you total, your total liabilities will be how much? Uh, Equity and liabilities will be 33 lakh. Your equity and liabilities will be 33 lakh. Next, we'll go to assets. We'll go to assets and the analysis part is very important. Look at your land and building is a non-current. Land and building is a non-current liability. Plant and machine is a non-current liability. Furniture and fixture is a non-current liability. Investment is a non-current investment. Stock is current and debtors is current asset. Cash and bank is current assets. Just you have to total. Okay. How much you will get? We'll total the amount now. Look at here. Uh, 5 lakh plus 3 lakh 10, 8 lakh 10,000. 6 lakh 50 plus 3 lakh 40. It will be uh, 9 lakh 90,000. Okay, one lakh fifteen plus seventy, one lakh eighty five thousand. Two lakh plus plus one lakh ninety, it will be four lakh forty thousand. One lakh eighty plus two lakh six thousand, it will be three lakh eighty six thousand. One lakh forty five thousand plus one lakh four thousand, it will be a two lakh forty nine thousand. And one lakh forty plus uh, one lakh will be two lakh forty thousand. Now, just you have to write the same figures over there. If you total. You have to get 13 lakh 30 thousand. Uh, and one more thing. Which we don't know. I want to add this one. So it will be 30, uh, 33 lakh. The same amounts are written over here. Look at here. Good balance sheet, asset sheet, balance sheet. So just you have to identify current and non current. Okay, under tangible assets, we have landed building. Okay. Landed building is how much? 8 lakh 10,000. Planter machinery, 9 lakh 80,000. Furniture. Uh, 1 lakh 85,000. We don't have any goodwill, so you have to write non current investment will be 4 lakh 40,000. We don't have any goodwill, so you have to write nil. Uh, nil. And current data and the current assets. Data we have 2 lakh 49,000. Okay. And uh, uh, sorry, data we have 2 lakh 49,000. Data and stock we have 3 lakh 86,000. And bank we have two lakh forty thousand. If you total, we'll get thirty three lakh. Now both our what is it? Assets and also equity and liabilities are same. That means our answer is correct. This is very very important. Okay, and this is under amalgamation the nature of merger. So please keep it in mind. You should know the differences. I'll repeat again. Uh, these differences are very 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 important. When it comes to what is it? Merger. You have to take all assets. In the let it be in the realization account or in corruption entries you have to take all assets except features asset and you have to take all liabilities except equity share capital and preference share capital under amalgamation in the nature of merger and it comes to purchase method you have to take all assets same assets will be same all assets except each asset and you have to take all liabilities except under realization. First, I'll tell you in the relation account. Under realization account, you have to take all assets except fictitious asset and all liabilities except 
uh, see, sorry, only liabilities, only liabilities, and if there is any statutory reserve, then only you have to take under realization account under purchase method. And, and while passing incorporation entries, you have to take all assets except a fictitious set and only liabilities. And if there is any statutory reserves, that will be transmitted to adjusted amalgamation account. Adjusted amalgamation account. That we will discuss when it comes to uh, purchase method. Okay. So these two differences are very, very important. And the theory part description, theory part video is given the description. The link is given the description. Please go through the theory part and also uh, read all the questions which I mean, which I have done. Uh, and I'm solving all the previous questions so that you can easily understand. I hope the concept is clear. Thank you, everyone.